another question we get are, are bat houses safe around kids? Um, when you're going to put up a bat house and it's going to be around people or pets or anything of that nature, you need to put it away from the area that they're going to be. Uh, you don't want it right over the kids' playground set. You don't want it right there at the kids' um, area where they might find a bat laying on the ground. You know how curious kids are. And I do recommend that if you are going to put up a bat house and you have kids to educate your kids about bats. Get them to understand, don't ever touch a bat that's laying on the ground. Use it as a teaching opportunity. Uh, the bats themselves, they're just in the environment. They're already there. Uh, by putting up a bat house, you're not now putting up a big flag that says bats come fly over here. The bats are already there. Uh, all you're doing is providing a roosting opportunity for them to use. And yes, keep it separated from the living area where your kids are going to be playing and, and you know, maybe milling around underneath it. You don't want that situation to occur. But uh, education, teach your kids about bats, let them know that they shouldn't be going over to it. Uh, and from that point forward, it's up to you and your area uh, as to whether you want to put up a bat house. If you're going to put it on public property, uh, you've got to seek permission for that. And just because the location looks perfect does not necessarily mean it is perfect uh, to the municipality that's involved. Uh, for example, it may be a controlled drainage area where absolutely no improvements are allowed, not even a pole to put up a bat house. Uh, those things can happen, so always uh, find out about the area and what's going on. If you're dealing with a school system, uh, you know, make sure they don't do it in a vacuum, uh, that people show up and there's a, a bat house way off in, in the distance and they're asking what it is. Uh, you know, it might be a good idea to have a board meeting about it, get everybody on board, uh, make the decision uh, to, to put the bat house on the property and where it's going to be safest to put it so the children can't get to it. Those are the primary things to be concerned about. But in general, no, there, there's not a lot of risk with just putting a bat house up uh, on a property. It's not going to draw in hundreds of thousands of bats that are, are going to infest an area. Now, on the flip side of that, if you already have bats and you're trying to exclude them, let's say you are a, a church or a school or a preschool or something of that nature, um, by all means, you want to get the bats excluded from the building that you're in uh, and, and get them out of there. But make bat houses part of your exclusion activity. Uh, there's been several situations that we've been uh, kind of involved in by providing bat houses after the fact where people have excluded uh, bats and to their horror found out the bats didn't just go away. Uh, one lady came home and called her husband in a panic. He had excluded bats from the attic and the bats were stuck all over the outside of the house, uh, the brickwork. Um, that was kind of traumatic for her. Um, had a situation where a church excluded them from their attic space and the bats, uh, they thought they had done a great job and when they opened up the uh, atrium to the church to come in, the bats were just all inside of the church hanging all over the place. Uh, because of their desperation to get back in, they had managed to find another crevice to get through that they had not earlier tried to mess with. Um, so you're, you're evicting them from their home. Provide them some alternate housing. That's a good idea to do. Uh, and just put it in a good location that's going to be isolated from the kids. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, subscribe, like. Uh, I don't know what we win when we get enough likes, but maybe we'll find out one day. And uh, I really need to get back to work putting some of your guys' bat houses together. So you guys have a good day.